guys what's going on welcome back to f129 career mode and welcome back to today for the feeder series with me william rumsey hd on f12019 and we're just gonna do some intro cutscenes into this new mode i'll see you after the intro get in campos's new driver really commanding the race here Devon Butler still ruthlessly giving chase. These two have been really scrapping it out for the early wins in the championship. And something's wrong. Butler sees his chance. Some kind of mechanical failure. Picking up speed again. It's unclear what the issue was. Can they still finish this race? Looks like an issue with the turbo. You've lost some speed at the top end, but you're very close to the finish. You can still compete and get some points here. Don't give up. Just do the best you can. We're all behind you. So guys, this is the start of my F1 2019 career. And as you can see, <laughs> We, we are driving terrible at the moment, our teammate has already passed us because we have a problem, I didn't actually want him to pass, so I went wide because I had my settings all wrong, I had to go into the, um, I had to go into the um, menu and as you can see my teammate is driving right away from me, the first time playing this game and it is mad, literally nothing happened in the race, I kept spinning off and stuff and I'm still in P6 and we <laughs> we're at lap 37 and nothing happened at all you can see me just driving the car it's really sluggish and bad and I can't get no momentum of the car literally uh, Nick DeFries nearly had me over the nearly caught up with me over the line here as we, we one of the objectives we do meet in this episode so yeah let's go to the standings Russian time today. That's another historic win. Davide, what do you think made the difference here? I think what went down the race was their ability to adapt. At every point, they delivered what was needed. They were calm and steady when they needed to be, but they were ruthless and aggressive when it was demanded of them. There wasn't anything out there that they weren't preparing to end. Let's see if they can. And here are podium drivers today after that excellent race. They've excelled here, as they so often do, and it's a well-deserved victory. Russian time, then, are on top today. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Challenge. It's a good result for Devon Butler, who moves further ahead. There you are. That was an exciting race. It definitely got people talking about you, which means I was able to secure a quick interview. Okay, we're all set over here. Just a minute. Remember, anything you say to the press can go very, very public. So be relaxed, but also be conscious of what you're saying and how it might come across to other people, okay? I think we're ready. Great. So Emma keeps telling me you're the one to watch this season. If that's true, you'll be doing plenty of these. Just remember, be yourself. And the more you can give me, the better this will go. Right, stand here. Turn a little this way for me. Perfect. Ready? An exciting race today. Let's get your perspective. So you and Lucas, you and Lucas are team. still new to the how team. How are you settle in? I went with a answer that was best suited for the team. That we we didn't do quite so well, okay, but we'll so get gradually like into it. How did you feel about being Lucas? ordered and give up the position about Lucas Weber? It was bound to happen. He was obviously faster than right. me, so that's well, why that's I everything. chose that option. And yeah, let's get back hey, into the career look, mode. I know that wasn't easy letting me pass, but it was the right choice. It was good driving. Yeah, yeah, that's how I describe it, mate. Just, just good, not great. One in six. One in six makes the leap to F1. The other five are still watching their less talented teammates collect all their points. Shame, really. A lot of great drivers never get their chance because they do it all for the team. Those teams got us here. Yeah, but it's the drivers that take the risk. We should get the rewards. You ever won a race in F1? That's how winners think. Hmm, and remind me, how many F1 races have you won? 
watch this space. At the end of this championship, I'll be the one lifting the trophy, and I won't use my teammates to nick the podium. Okay, I'm out. You believe what you want, Devon, but it's still early days. He's either very clever, or you're just a pushover. You really think if the situation was reversed, he'd do the same for you? You want to start looking out for yourself. No one else will. Look at them go! Devon Butler locked in wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing with his championship rival, desperate to shut them down and stop them getting past. And there's contact! Butler simply left them nowhere to go. There was just no way for them to have avoided that. And look, there's significant damage. Not sure if that was down to recklessness or sheer aggression, but I'm sure the stewards are going to have something to say very shortly. Don't give up. You're still in this race. I can't believe this has happened. I thought it was going to be me having a good old race but as you can see we're in Austria now and with the car is actually feeling a lot better than it was guys we're on lap 35 we've got six or five or six laps to catch up and pass I can't remember his name I can't remember his name oh my god I can't remember his name but we're gonna pass our rival here as you can see one lap we go past one of the ART cars here Go a bit wide here and we still get the move done as we go into lap 39 now. We're going to go down the inside of Russell to this little miniature hairpin here. What a move that was. That was a crazy move. And sorry I can't pronounce none of the names or remember them guys. I'm so used to F1 so sorry guys. <laughs> so as we're coming up to the back of Gunter here we're, we're setting purple sectors here. He's pretty slow coming out of that corner here. We're going to speed up and our rival is just ahead of us. I'll remember his name once I get a bit closer to him, but I cannot remember for the life of me. So we're going to get close to Gunter. Yeah, the bad exit there. And as second to last corner, we get him. And his name's Butler. Uh, I remembered. We go wide in the last corner again. The thing is, these F2 cars, you can get so wide and still carry a lot of speed. Um, to carry on some of the settings in this career mode might be wrong so I didn't want to start again we get exceeding track limits but we don't care we are going for Butler we are headhunting right now if we don't get this pass done this could send us off on the downward spiral for our career mode here so as we go slow as I can into this little hairpin on the same straight from that hairpin here we're gonna get up against Butler smash down the inside catch our wing here I don't care I'm getting this move done what a pass that was I might have clipped me wing but oh well I'm I've done it boys I've done it I've just got to manage it I've got like three corners to go here we go four if you can't this kink so here we go we're gonna go around the right cut the right this little kink here and now we're gonna get second to last corner here Butler is behind us in eighth place we wanted to catch Alban we go out wide here we've got to keep it on the track luckily we didn't get a penalty we keep it through the last corner coming up to the flag and there we go we get it done boys get in Good finish. You stepped up and achieved what we asked. Good job. actually come back and beat him that made this whole race worthwhile for me as we can see, it's time for the podium, and I can see the Carlin team underneath our commentary box going crazy as their driver walks out. It was a great win, and it means a great deal to this team. 
After this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. The lead at the top has come down after a poor result for our points leader. Now then, Davide Valsecchi, who would you say was your driver of the day? My driver of the day was Nicolas Latifi. He did a cracking job of moving through the field. Just showing why it good day today. Let's have your So yeah guys, that was a tough race. Well, that was, that was great recovery. Did you think, colli think was collision with Butler? With uh, I went for a safe option. It was tough, but at least we got some points. So did you ever think you would get back, get from back from Butler? I did not think. Like, I was performing that badly in the car, so I went for the bottom option. But we see Absolutely. what happens. Lucas you and Lucas have been picking up champion think of your championship chances. Our results were incredible, and thank you for the Wait, hard work, well, team. Everything. Let's go to the last race. What can I say? I guess there's no other way to put this, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry for ever giving you the common respect that all racers deserve, because you don't deserve it, neither of you do. That was the dirtiest driving I've ever seen. Ridiculous. My thoughts, exactly. I'm taking my line, and I get smashed into? I'm fine, by the way, thanks for asking. And then, I'm penalized for the privilege. You're unbelievable. You deserved every second of that penalty, maybe more. I mean, aside from trashing the car, did you ever stop to think that maybe someone could get hurt? Yeah. Me? Fine. But winning at any cost is your strategy, not ours. You better watch yourself. Whatever. <sighs> Don't let him get in your head. He knows you're a better driver. So, on the track, stay away from him. He will try to force you into contact. That's how he wins, yeah? Let's get ready for the press briefing. Guys, just before we go into this last race, I want to thank you all for the support and stay tuned for more Formula 1 content. It's going to be a crazy year for this game. So here we are in Abu Dhabi. Each and every event in the Formula 2 calendar has led us here to this, the final event of the championship. And one that promises to be a spectacle every bit as exciting as we might have hoped. Yaz Island Circuit is a 3.4 mile racetrack built on the man-made Yaz Island. In addition to the 21 corners, it features two very long straights. Now these will be the driver's main overtaking chances today into turn eight and turn 11. Okay, this is it. Last race of the season. So we are going to choose to go long into the race here with no stops. It's the first time we've done a sprint race. I'm going to see if I can uh, put the aero down. We can't touch the fuel. We're going to go free free, and we're just going to go a free for all because we gonna we want to win this championship, boys. Five red lights, and away we go in Abu Dhabi. It's a decent start here. We be. Uh, wheel spin off the line as you can see from this replay we go down the inside of one of the ARTs and what a, po what a first pass that was as we carry on from lap one here we're behind our teammate Lucas Weber Weber whatever you want to call it Weber 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 but yeah we are coming along the straight here looking pretty decent Weber's going down the inside of Butler. This is key for me to get past Butler here. Not so much Weber because he's my teammate. We're going to go down the outside all the way round of Lucas. Of, but, of Butler here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> of Butler. And we're going to go switch, switch to the inside here. Go down our teammate and we actually go off the track. So what we're going to do, we're going to hold it up. We're going to stop. And we're going to take our rightful position back. And on the same lap, we're going to pop it down the inside of Butler and get the move done. What a... What a... Wow. What a pass that was. As we go to lap five now, Markolov, we're going to send it down the outside. We're going to see if we can hang it, hang it, hang it, hang it. And he pushes us out. So we're going to keep it on here, keep on the back of him. Get some straight line speed from him. And Jules Russell is out of the race. Unlucky. We bounce over the curbs here. And we're going to size up and move on Markolov. We're going to send it. No, we don't. No, we don't. Oh, we catch his back, back tie there. As we get the move done here. And we a bit of a drift to, to end that. That was a decent move. As on the same lap here, 
We're going to make the same move on Mark Love. We're going to swap to the inside. Switch back move. Lovely move. Got the move done. And as, as you can see, guys, my tyres are falling off. We're on lap 10 now. We are battling with our teammate Lucas Weber just for a podium. I want this podium. If he's not the win, I want the podium. So, guys, here we go. He's going to size up a move here. I'm going to move to the inside. He's going to try to go down the outside. I cut him off. He tried to do the switch back move there, which I cut off, which was pretty well played for me, to be fair. On the same lap, he's right behind us. I go off the track here, and as you can see from the peak of the boat, I'm going to get the position back. Even though I'm making these big mistakes, I'm able to able to make up for him. As I make another mistake here, going into the last lap, Weber is in front of me. I want this podium. I wanted it so bad. So I'm going to get the slipstream. And I'm going to come in like a steam train. I, I don't even know how I didn't get a cut the corner sign for that. And we come up to the line on the last lap. We are the Formula 2 World Champion. What a race that was. We beat all our, en all our enemies. And we smashed them to pieces. We are the F2 World Champion. Bring on Formula 1. A great win then for the Dams team today. Talk to me, Davide. Was it everything you hoped for? Everything and more. He had it all. The rival, the tension, the excitement. These two drivers have been locked in fierce competition all season. And to see it comes down to head to head battle for the line like this, well, these kind of things doesn't happen very often. Devon put in a good performance throughout the championship, but today, the accolade goes to his rival and the new Formula 2 champion. Let's go bloody mental! Let's go bloody mental! Na 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 na! Na 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 na! I want the F2 championship! I want the F2 championship! Na 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 na! I'm a nata! I'm a nata! Get in boys! What a race that was! First of all, congratulations! You must be thrilled! Wow. The Congrats to you other drivers champions and how does it feel? feel? It feels amazing, I'm not going to lie. I went for an um, amazing answer so for an amazing day. That was a thrilling session. How was the race, race for you? It was It was tough. It was challenging. The team really put, put the car together well. Rumours possible, possible F1 contract. Oh, I don't know, maybe. Uh, I think I'm too good for F1, you know what I mean? I'm joking. Right. <laughs> Congratulations, mate. F2 champion. Hey, congratulations. Enjoy it, because it's the last time it'll ever happen. Devon, it's okay to be upset. You came very close. Hey, we know things would have turned out very differently if I didn't get slapped with that ridiculous penalty. What is it with you and complaining? Look, somehow you managed to do a lot of things right today. That's great. You needed the win, I didn't. For me, this was always just a stepping stone to F1. Oh, you two, you two. You got your work cut out for you now that I'm gone. So you're gonna have to prove to everyone it was more than just luck that got your head. Sure. Winning one race is luck. Winning the championship is talent. Really? Next time you use that incredible talent to ram into someone and steal all their points, remember they won't be as forgiving as I am. Well, this has been a lot of fun. I gotta run. Yeah, things to sign, important paperwork and all that. I'm sure you understand. Ciao! So, with this big win, you're going to be getting a lot of interest. All I can say is, choose wisely, or else you might end up with someone like Devon as your teammate. Come on, let's go celebrate. Ah, oh, welcome. Come on in. Take a seat. It's time we had the big conversation about your next move. Your performance at the F2 Championships last year got you a lot of attention from the Formula One teams. Some a bit more positive than others. I'm not so concerned with who does or doesn't like you. You'll have plenty of time to win the doubt is over. But I am concerned with our choices. They're narrowing as we haven't shown commitment to anyone. Now, as your agent, my advice is to make your decision now. We can worry about comfort and finer points further down the line. I need you to review these. You've earned every single one of these proposals. 
So take your time, have a read through, and don't get too hung up on specifics. Let's get you a Formula One seat. So guys, it's come to the time now we're going to pick a team. And I know which team I want to be this year. It's going to be a team I've never been. We are going to pick... Drum roll, please. Come on, we'll use your thumbsticks. There we go. We're going to pick Hass, guys. I've never been Hass in the career mode. And we are going to be Hass. Ha Hass for this season. I did look at the Mercedes, but you know what? We're going to be Hass. And we're going to bring the American team to the top of the F1 field. Excellent choice. From my conversations with them, they're going to be very excited to pursue this opportunity with you. I'll let them know our intentions immediately. I'll have to clean up some final details with them, but that's what you pay me for. Other than that, congratulations. You've earned it. Oh, hey, you're here. I'll catch up with you. Sorry, I'm just on my way out, but your workstation's at the back over there. It should be all set up on the network, but let the guys know if it isn't. From there, you can access all the data you need to help us direct development of the car. Get yourself settled, and then head out to practice when you're ready. I'll catch up with you later, okay? So, guys, um, I'm sorry for the chop and change in the thing, but guys, if you want to see more, like, comment, subscribe, smack the bell down below, and I'll see you guys in part two of this F1 2019 career mode. Goodbye.